Yeah, good morning everyone. It is, uh, what time is it? It's 6.30 actually. And the nice thing is I hit my newest low, which is 90.3 kg. So I'm pretty confident to, to basically break the 90 kg uh, this week. A um, little bit of a body update. You can see sort of the, the abs sort of coming out now. <laughs> I mean, not that I look super shredded, but you know, I mean, let's see. This is flat in the morning without any pump and stuff, right? It's still raining in London, you know. You can't be prepared, really. You never know what's gonna happen in terms of weather. So I have to cope with this. Without insulting any women out there, I'm quite fast in getting ready. So it is six. 34 and I basically my alarm went off at I think 6 20 so it took me 14 minutes to get ready so if you can beat that let me know <laughs> just want to you know point that out here the other things I'm really happy I finally hit my new low which is 90.3 kg it's just under 200 pounds like 99.3 99 199.3 pounds which is pretty cool um, quite confident to finally break through my 90 kg plateau and once that happens I actually can lose a lot of weight again so it's just I don't know it's just a mind thing really I don't think that it is really a thing these plateaus but yeah that said um, I've got a client in the morning now and then I'm gonna be training myself so today is day 14, we've got nearly halfway through the program, uh, the challenge, and I must say, so far it has been really tough. You know what I hate about smokers, is that they don't care if you get, if you're sort of the second person breathing in the freaking fucking smoke. Like, this lady here in front, that lady, she's smoking, and she's quite far away, right? Not, she's not literally in front of me and I can smell the freaking shitty cigarette so that always annoyed me you know? always always annoyed me that people are selfish and selfish sorry to say that I just hate smoking to um, do a couple of things on the laptop before I head out to my client. So it's 7, 7 a.m. in the morning. So I wanted to tell you guys how I feel at the moment on the 1,000 rep challenge. Just because uh, the 500 rep challenge, you know, if you haven't seen it, you probably have, but if you have, yeah, there's a link, um, is, was challenging at that time, but my body adapted quite well to it. Now the 1,000 rep challenge, today is day 14, which means uh, it's not even, you know, halfway through, is a real challenge, guys. I do feel it in my whole body. Um, you know, it's something I do need to wake up and motivate myself to actually do this because it's not like I would get up and like, yeah, a thousand reps every day. You know, it's like, fuck. <laughs> That's how I feel, more or less. You know, I'm like, shit, why am I doing this again? Um, so I'm not looking forward to, to the training session today. But, you know, that's, that's when you know it's a real challenge. And it's actually a good thing because I want you guys to see that, you know, even as a, let's say, sports professional or someone, it's not like I just check these things out and I'm like, yeah, who cares, you know, everyone can do it. Obviously, 
it comes with the word, right? Challenge. So, yeah, I just want to give you that on the way that not that you think that I run through these challenges just as easy as, you know, throw anything at me. I will do them. I get through them. I push through them. It's a bit like uh, in martial arts and my martial arts career. I had loads of fallbacks. It wasn't like I went through to the world champions just like that. Um, you know, it's something you have to keep doing. Keep keep grinding. It's the grind, guys. That's what it is. What people say. And I 100% agree with that. It is about. And this is. I said that before. I'm just gonna say it again. In fitness, in your body, in your health. In, in terms of getting fit and, and looking in the best shape as, as you want to, it is with nothing else but fitness, the work you put in, and if you stick to it, you will see the reward. There's no way on earth that is not gonna happen. If you really stick to it, 100% to your diet and to your exercise regime, to sleep, to stress, to all of that, if that's all managed, you will see the results. There's no no way on earth that's not going to happen. Whereas other things, uh, other outcomes, let's say, in your career and so on, you can't really control because there's so many other factors involved, like uh, other people, environment and so on. Whereas in fitness, most of the time it's just you. And if you mess up, you messed up, right? Oh, it is uh, nine o'clock. I finished with my client. And to be honest, I didn't sleep that much because the freaking video didn't upload that quick. You know, the, the one you're watching before, today. So I literally just got five hours sleep, which means I'm gonna have a coffee now, train, go home, and go back to sleep. You have to be honest, right? I'm just tired, that's why. Yeah, so I talked about this before, guys. Um, uh, not because I'm tired, just because in general, if you want, I'm not a big fan of pre-workout uh, supplements. Just because the main ingredient we talked about this before is ca caffeine. So that's why I always stick to normal coffee. Um, I'm not affiliated with Costa, by the way, just so that you know, it's just next to them, that's why. And yeah, so in general, what I do is I either get a double espresso or I'll drink like a, like a small black uh, Americano before I train. And that way I get, you know, get the focus, the the um, benefits of, of caffeine, which you would normally get if you take a pre-workout shake. Um, in pre-workouts, another one we talked about this is the NO boosters, you know, the, the blood vessel uh, widening sort of um, ingredients like alanine and stuff like that. In terms of research, it's not proven that they really work, but what is proven is that um, caffeine definitely is performance enhancing, and uh, yeah, so that's why I stick to caffeine, which is great. And also, the good thing is, you, you know, most of the time, a coffee shop is basically everywhere around the world. A pre-workout you need to buy just in certain shops, and if you don't get it, sometimes people are like, oh, I didn't have my pre-workout, so I can't work out. I would say, bad luck. I can see that you guys enjoyed the video about the supplements uh, yesterday, which is great. I'm still answering your questions to figure out which uh, which one I'm gonna uh, be on, uh, which one I'm gonna be answering live here but uh, yeah other than that I'm gonna head to the gym now all right so I managed to go into the gym it's now 9:48, and uh, I'm gonna do a bit of warm-up today so you can see that here it's like a stairmaster or something so I'm gonna do five minutes here and then bit of shoulder mobilization and then I'm actually going to start.
right guys, so it's the last set of the day. It's 10.44, so I don't know. Might be a new record, we'll see. Boom, baby. Done it. Uh, I think even under 50 minutes. I don't freaking remember when I started, but it's definitely around 50, 52 minutes. Boom, and I don't even feel tired. The way to draw your hair is not to use one, you use two hair drawers. Press this button, and then the thing at the top starts. Cool. And it's like a full body cool down. You just come out of the sauna. and I'm doing a bit of uh, my weekly shopping so you can get these ones which you can pull which is really nice and put all my stuff in there uh, one last thing we need is this yogurt this Greek yogurt here so this Greek yogurt has probably most the best macros ever it has like zero fat only 4 grams of carbs for 100 uh, grams and 10.3 grams of protein. So this is the one I would recommend if you can get that somewhere. It's like good and that's the one I have on this side when I eat my meat and stuff a little bit. Because it's a bit sweet then you know add some protein as well. So I want to show you what I bought from the shop and I've got some water which I'm not drinking at home it's just that I have bottles at home that when I go out um, I've got some British filet steak um, some chicken breast organic um, and some prawns that's sort of my protein oh no I've got some quail eggs as well protein sources um, I talked about this before you know the yogurt I love grated cheese, this one is lighter so it has quite good macros. I love blueberries so they had this one on offer which is like a 300 something grams. Got two breads for later on, bread rolls, some tomatoes and some salad. We're in London and I want to show you what I paid for it because people might be interested. So all in all, all that stuff cost me in total 42 pounds. And you're probably thinking, man, you're spending so much money on food. Well, this is the one thing I do spend money on and that is good quality food because whatever goes into your body, I wanna make sure it is the best quality I can find. And around that area where I was, that was sort of the best shop you could go to. It's just that, you know, I'm in the business of health and fitness and I live and breathe what I teach. So I don't eat crappy shit. That's why I buy good quality food. I would urge you to do the same.
time to get up. I need to get out of this country. This is depressing. Always freaking rainy here. Yeah, I basically finished cutting now and it took me ages because this time the video was like 30 minutes long. By the way, I want to know, is that something you kind of liked? Did you like the length of it that it was like 30 minutes long or should I make shorter ones? You know, give me just a little hint. Um, and then also I'm drinking my second monster today. I don't know, I just, uh, the good thing about it is that I have sort of a sweet tooth, right? And because this is sweet, and it only has like four grams of sugar and like 11 calories. It's a bit like a treat. Sorry, but also I'm gonna up my caffeine now in the next three weeks uh, to 400 to 500 milligrams. Yes, it is booked. And I want you to give it a guess where I'm going and when I'm going. So uh, exciting times ahead. Uh, a lot is changing in my life right now. I'm gonna be updating you on that topic, but it would be cool if you could give it a guess where I'm going first and then we'll talk about the rest. These are blueberries. Oh, I love them. Now, while I'm working, I mostly snack on blueberries because they are, you know, they're sweet. They give you a sweet tooth. They uh, engage your brain and stuff like that. And they've got all these antioxidants and they're not high in calories, very, very healthy. So instead of chocolate, I snack on blueberries. I like them. So I'm still working on my website a little bit and uh, did some accounting stuff again. Just getting ready for my little trip, which you need to guess where it goes. All right, it is nine o'clock. I managed to get everything uploaded, all my work done, everything is good. I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating today. This is what I'm gonna be eating today. We're starting with a salad, quail eggs, some uh, tomatoes, um, like a you know bit of bread, Greek yogurt, um, steak, and a couple of king prawns. That's sort of my dinner today, and I hope this video was uh, helpful so far. Hit the like button, punch the subscribe button, and I'll see you tomorrow. Boom!